If this was how the Kevin Sumlin era ends, at least it was a finish no one will forget. The Arizona Wildcats were obliterated at home by rival ASU, giving up 14 points in the first minute and continuing downhill after that, falling 70-7 on Friday night at Arizona Stadium. It was the 12th consecutive loss for the UA, extending a program record, and 6th in a row at home, breaking a tie for longest home skid. It was the fourth straight setback to ASU, which last happened in the 1970s. The final margin was the largest for the Sun Devils in Territorial Cup history, with the 70 points the most by any team in the rivalry. Only Arizona's 67-0 win in 1946 a bigger blowout. ASU 0-2 used four Arizona turnovers and two turnover on downs to go up 42-0 after less than 25 minutes of game action, by far the biggest in a long list of big holes the Wildcats had started games in under Sumlin. The UA turned it over seven times, most since at least 1999, with ASU turning those into 35 points. A horrible performance started off about as bad as possible for Arizona, as ASU's DJ Taylor returned the opening kickoff 100 yards for a score. Gary Brightwell then fumbled on the Wildcats' second offensive snap, with the Sun Devils recovering at the UA four-yard line, and on the next play Chip Trayanum scored on a four-yard run. After only 56 seconds, Arizona trailed 14-0. Arizona turned it over on its second drive, twice, actually, with Grant Gunnell getting intercepted by ASU's Kyle Soule one play after receiver Majon Wright appeared to have been stripped on a catch over the middle. Officials overturned that play, only to see the Wildcats give it away one snap later. ASU failed to capitalize on that takeaway, missing a 40-yard field goal attempt. But then Arizona turned the ball over on downs when Michael Wiley was stuffed for no gain on fourth and one at the UA 41. The Sun Devils turned that third consecutive start in Wildcat territory into a 20-yard TD run by quarterback Jaden Daniels to make it 21-0 with 2.21 left in the first. The second quarter looked more promising for Arizona at first, as it drove into the ASU red zone and had first and goal from the two only to have a bad exchange between Gunnell and Brightwell result in another fumble. ASU's Michael Mattis recovered it at the four-yard line, and two plays later Rachad White broke off a 93-yard TD run to make it 28-0 with 11.45 left before halftime. A fourth turnover, and third fumble, on a strip sack of Gunnell set ASU up deep in UA territory again, with Daniels connecting on a 31-yard TD pass to Ricky Pearsall to make it 35-0 with 10-15 left in the first half. That was followed by Arizona's second failed fourth down conversion on its own side of the field, with ASU turning that into a 4-yard TD run by Daniel Nada to make it 42-0 with 5-25 left in the second. Arizona finally got on the board on its seventh possession, which also included true freshman Will Plummer replacing Gunnell at QB, 